Uh, hello viewers, uh, welcome to my channel. And uh, today's topic is uh, temporal lobe epilepsy. Uh, but before starting this topic, I would like to request you to like, subscribe, and share this video for more information. You know, you know, epilepsy is a brain disorder, and uh, uh, the cause is the changes in the brain uh, cell activity that results in seizures. Uh, and the periods of the unusual behavior or the feelings and uh, in some cases a loss of consciousness and uh, temporal lobe uh, epilepsy is uh, one of the 20 different types of uh, epilepsy you know there are two types of the temporal lobe epilepsy and each is defined uh, by the part of the temporal lobe in which uh, it originates you know and one starts in the medial or the inner region of the temporal lobe while the other starts in the uh, neocortical are the side region of the temporal bone, you know. And the brain, uh, brain's temporal lobes uh, handle emotions and uh, help with the pro like processing and uh, storage of the short-term memories, you know. But the temporal lobe epileptic uh, seizures are further classified. If these are uh, loss of consciousness, they are called complex partial seizures. And uh, if you stay conscious, they are called simple uh, partial seizures. And in most cases, the people remain conscious during the temporal lobe seizures and making them simple partial seizures. Now, the next thing is what are the causes of the temporal lobe epilepsy? Well, uh, of all types of epilepsy, the temporal lobe epilepsy is the most common, you know. And uh, uh, it affects uh, about 60% of all the people with epilepsy and can occur at any age. And uh, uh, there are many potential causes and uh, uh, they often the exact cause is unknown, you know. And uh, experts say some possible causes of temporal lobe seizures include like uh, number one, the severe traumatic brain injury. Uh, number two, the infections or the history of the infections like meningitis and encephalitis, you know. Scarring in the uh, like hippocampus part of the uh, temporal lobe, you know. And the blood vessel abnormalities in the brain, stroke, genetics, brain tumors, and abnormal electrical activity in the brain. So these are the common causes of the temporal lobe uh, epilepsy, you know. Now, next thing is, what are the symptoms of the temporal lobe epilepsy? Well, when the temporal lobe uh, seizure starts to occur, a person may experience like sudden and unusual feeling. And uh, like, uh, such as like uh, extreme happiness or like uh, a rising sensation in the, in the abdomen, you know, anxiety. And uh, these early signs are called as uh, auras, or the warning signs, you know. And uh, they may last for a few seconds, up to a few minutes before the seizure occurs, you know. And other possible auras they include like uh, uh, hallucinations of the sounds, voices, and the people smells and tastes. And uh, the many people who experience a temporal lobe seizures experience auras. And sometimes people do not remember experiencing an aura, you know. And once the seizure begins, uh, you may remain conscious, uh, but your body will uh, begin to twitch and display the unconscious actions, you know. Like, uh, and you will make uh, repetitive, like uncontrolled movements, such as the lip smacking or uh, hand rubbing. And the temporal uh, lobe seizures look uh, different in different people, you know, and uh, they may be long or short and they may be intense or mild to the point where you don't notice it's happening, you know. And uh, after a temporal lobe seizure occurs, uh, you may experience uh, trouble in speaking, confusion, and uh, like uh, being unaware of the seizure, you know and intense fatigue and rarely the people who experience a temporal lobe seizure will go on to experiencing a like a generalized tonic clonic seizure you know and uh, which causes the like uh, 
convulsions and loss of consciousness, you know. And uh, the next thing is, uh, what are the risk factors? Well, the most common risk factor for the temporal lobe epilepsy is uh, having had a seizure, especially an unusually long lasting seizure, you know, with a fever at some point in life. And uh, the other common risk factors uh, include like uh, head trauma with the loss of consciousness and uh, early childhood injuries, brain injuries, brain defects, infections and the brain tumors. And uh, the most causes of the temporal lobe epilepsy begin in persons uh, late teens uh, or the late 20s. And the doctors say that, uh, the doctors who specialize in the epilepsy, they say that uh, for women, hormonal changes affecting their menstrual cycles and ovulation may result in the higher number of seizures. Now, the next thing is uh, how to diagnose the uh, temporal lobe epilepsy, you know, the seizure, you know. Well, your doctor can diagnose uh, this condition from a detailed description of how the seizure occurred, so which is known as medical history, you know. And uh, it's often suggested that a third party witness describes the seizure, like parents or the brothers or the sisters who are most of the time around that time, you know. So they explain what happens, you know. And uh, they may be better able to recall what happened, you know. And uh, the standard radiological procedures used to diagnose a temporal lobe is uh, magnetic resonance imaging, uh, known as MRI, you know, uh, which is performed on the brain. And the doctors look for the characteristic uh, brain abnormalities associated with the temporal lobe epilepsy, you know. And your doctor will also uh, perform an uh, other test, which is known as electro and cephalogram are also known as EEG, you know, which is a test used to measure the brain's electrical activity. And uh, the sharp waves seen in the EEG uh, in the correct location are typically indicative of the temporal lobe epilepsy. And the doctors sometimes recognize the seizures in a video EEG monitor. So usually when uh, determining whether or not surgery would be helpful in treating the localized seizure. So this test is helpful, you know. Now, the next thing is once diagnosed, then what are the treatment options? Well, the most people with the temporal lobe epilepsy respond well to the uh, those uh, anti-epilepsy drugs, you know. But these drugs, some uh, come with the various side effects, including like tiredness, weight gain, dizziness and uh, they may interfere with the other medications such as uh, oral contraceptives you know and uh, at least one third of the people with the temporal lobe epilepsy do not respond to medication alone and require another medical uh, interventions to treat the disorder and uh, the surgery is another common treatment for the people with the temporal lobe ep uh, epilepsy you know and the surgery uh, like uh, it's a common treatment for the people with this type of condition, you know, and it is used to eliminate or reduce the number of seizures a person experience. And uh, as all surgeries carry some risks, you know, and uh, an unsuccessful surgery may actually create the neurological problems in some cases, you know. And the other types of the medical treatments, uh, interventions used to treat the temporal lobe epilepsy include like vagus nerve stimulation or uh, responsive uh, neurostimulation and uh, deep brain stimulation, you know. Uh, like uh, the vagus nerve stimulation is uh, a stimulation, is a device. It is surgically implanted in the chest under the collarbone uh, with wires from the uh, stimulator connecting to the vagus nerve in the neck may help to reduce the frequency and the intensity of the seizures, you know. 
And uh, in case of the responsive uh, neurostimulator, a stimulating device is implanted on the surface of the brain or uh, in the brain tissue, which is attached to the battery powered generators that uh, attach to the skull near the brain, you know. And the device detects the seizures and sends an electrical stimulation to the area where the seizure is occurring in an attempt to stop it, you know. Now, another uh, method is the deep brain stimulation. Uh, this is an uh, experimental treatment that involves uh, implanting the electrodes uh, into a part of the brain called the thalamus, you know. And uh, these electrodes emit uh, electrical signals that stop the seizures, okay. So these are the treatment options, you know. Now there are, the lifestyle changes can um, uh, also help to reduce the risk of having the uh, temporal lobe seizures or uh, epilepsy, you know. And the, some activities can be dangerous if you have the temporal lobe epilepsy or uh, otherwise uh, are prone to seizures, you know. And these may include like the swimming or bathing, you know, and, and work high off the ground, you know. Uh, because there is a danger of fall, you know, and uh, driving a car or operating the ma dangerous machineries, you know. So these are risk um, uh, factors. Uh, there are the risks involved, you know, while you are performing these kind of dangerous activities, you know. And, uh, uh, you know, you might want to consider wearing a medical alert bracelet, you know, that emergency personnel or the people near you refer uh, uh, to in case you have the seizure, you know, and uh, uh, it should list your condition, uh, whom to contact in case of emergency, and uh, what medications you are taking, and uh, any kind of allergies, you know. So it better helps the doctors to manage properly in case of any emergency, you know. Uh, well, next thing is uh, about the outlook or the prognosis, you know. Well, the temporal uh, lobe uh, epilepsy can be successfully treated with the medication or the surgery. And uh, it always uh, poses a danger to those living with it and possibly others, you know, especially during uh, the operation of the heavy machinery and the motor vehicles, you know. And uh, strictly, the people who are suffering from this uh, uh, temporal ep uh, 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 lobe epilepsy, you know, and they should refrain from the dangerous activities like building works or driving the machinery or driving the car or uh, uh, working on the heights, you know, um, because this way uh, there is a potential risk to themselves and to the others as well. Thank you. Goodbye. And please do not forget to subscribe. Thank you.